Could you do it? Can I get more likes, please? And thank you for tapping the dollar, guys. Appreciate it. Scotty, it saddens me there's too many idiots still wanting to catch COVID in order to live normal. This threatens the vulnerable and elderly. Selfish and shame on them. It's disgusting. I agree with you, Kareem. It's shocking. We have to wear goggles as well as a mask, don't you think? Now, tell me why you said that, Jammer, because it can be transmitted via the eyes. Scotty, what is normal? Exactly, Glenn. That's what I'm asking you to define. Because normal is a word like nice. It's a sort of infinite quantity, a sort of unmeasurable quantity. What is normal? So there we go. Yes, says Jammer, yes. Transmitted via the eyes. So maybe goggles are the next thing. But then we would also need prescription goggles, Jammer, because people who wear glasses would have a job seeing. <coughs> Don't worry about the cough. Had it for 20 years. I think I did so many broadcasts during lockdown. That was the thing there. Uh, this winter, Scotty, will be a killer. Cold, flu, and COVID. And we all have to be in together and looking out for each other. Well, they say that they don't want the schools off again and they don't want business off again. Glenn says, Scotty, when I went to the local shop the other day, a guy had a gas mask on. Me and this woman couldn't believe her eyes. I don't think the gas mask is any good. I did inquire about that, about a Second World War gas mask, if it would uh, be a barrier for COVID. But I didn't get a positive response. Does anybody know about that? Or is that just a relic well and truly from the past? that belongs in the past. Do tell me. IV4809 has tapped the dollar. Sent me £1.99. IV4809. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is very kind of you. Thank you to everybody who's tapped the dollar. Robert Scrimger, people who criticise constitutional monarchy, Scotty, don't realise that even in the Act of Union of 1707, the Church of Scotland was guaranteed. The act politically was wrong. Well, yes, it was always monarchically wrong as well, Robert, because Queen Anne um, was not being the clean tatty, I have to say. Uh, so there you go. She really shouldn't have been on the throne, but she was chosen over the likes of Charles Edward Stuart and James II, the old pretender, that sort of idea, because they had just passed the act of secession that a Catholic couldn't sit on the throne. Now, that only scraped by in Parliament by one vote. Now, let's just remember that this was the brand new unionised Parliament. Scotland in the Scottish Parliament, which Queen Anne uh, actually uh, dissolved, the three estates, yes, the three estates, the nobles and the church and the burgesses, the, the three estates that was satirised by Sir David Lindsay in his in satire of the three estates, uh, you know, that, that opened the Edinburgh Festival in 1948, so David Lindsay in satire of the three estates. And um, Scotland was sold out for 1,500 quid to the nobles, 1,500 quid. And the act of secession, that Catholic couldn't sit on the throne because the throne had been Catholic, non-Catholic, Catholic, non-Catholic. Non and that only passed by one vote. Scotland's Parliament, which had just been dissolved, had 308 MPs, right? And with the new unionised Parliament, Scotland could send 45 members to the House of Commons and 16 to the House of Lords. Now, that's not fair 
is it? 